A hundred in right now. All right. Okay, so we're full. Um, all right, so welcome. We're still in the decompression zone, so make yourself comfortable. We'll just be uh, with you in just a few minutes. Uh, you know, check out where the, if you're not familiar with Zoom, I've probably most of you are by now, but you know, check out the buttons that are at your disposal so you can do uh, your chat. Just uh, if you open the chat, I think you can kind of uh, also kind of detach that, make turn it into a different window uh, because, and you know, let people know where you're from. Just uh, use the chat and say hello to everyone in the um, in the web jam. Cool. So I think we've got everybody, uh, Arna. You're not in uh, full screen, uh, Mark. So if that's what you wanted to do, well, that was kind of cool. And yes, we are trying to hypnotize you. That is what we're trying to do. So you're not seeing my, you're not seeing the full screen. Is it? No, I see all your screen. Uh, I see the the browser window. Oh, right. I'm not in the presentation mode. No. There you go. Thank you, Arna. So I think we're ready to roll, guys. What do you think? Should we get, should we get going? Yes. Let's okay. go. All right. We're off. Is that what we wanted to see? <laughs> it's Wayne's <laughs> World. I, uh, I Wayne's World. <laughs> Right, right. Okay. Um, actually, right now, what we'd like to do is invite somebody from the audience to do a quick warm up. And this warm up has to be like two minutes long. So, anybody uh, who wants to introduce a quick online warm up that you might have seen in the last uh, few days, I know we have some awesome master facilitators out there. Um, Take yourself on off of mute and say something, and then we'll let you take it over. Whoever I hear first gets to introduce the warm up. And if you don't, then you're going to get it from one of us. <laughs> don't say that. No. So who's going to step up? Who's going to step step up? Who wants to do a first quick exercise? And we're going to count down from ten to sure. zero. Okay. And Colin, you really no, you, want to, you want you have one for sure. All right. <laughs> well, well in the sense of cons consistency, we can just measure the the level of energy in the room uh, in the same way that you introduced last week. Um, is that okay? Oh. okay. Yeah. So, um, actually, is, is Colin doing it? No, you you are you are. Okay, so I'll just think about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, first we can just like stretch. So if you can stand up. Everybody stand up. And probably I will be in my pants. <laughs> so uh, if you're wearing pajamas, it's all right. <laughs> if you are wearing something else, it's OK. So I'll just make it sure that I can see everybody. And then try to touch the ceiling. And then we will do like five stretches. Can you do it? Yes. yes? <laughs> now, bend over. Open your legs, open your legs as much as you can. Oh, really? <laughs> open them up and now stretch again and touch the floor. All good? Yes. And we will do five jumping jacks. Oh, not five. <laughs> not ten, but five. Ready? Yep. I can see you standing up. So I'm not doing them yet. <laughs> so we will go and we'll do just one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Okay. So I think that can be just, and then we'll just shake, 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 shake. Shake your head, shake your hands, and you can just turn, 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 turn. And, uh, that could be hopefully all right first to get this started fantastic <laughs> thank you Great. i got my heart going thanks yeah. Anna. Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome awesome so i think we're ready for this web jam um and what i want to do real quickly uh is go over what we're going to cover today um 
hopefully, well, we, I think we know that there are a lot of us, uh, a lot of you who have um, come to one of these before. So we're, the, the agenda should look somewhat familiar. Um, we're gonna walk through a quick like rules of the game, how we play. There's gonna be a lot of play today. Um, we're gonna introduce our panelists and then we'll have a, it's not really gonna be a presentation. You'll see, it's gonna be kind of gamey. So um, uh, we'll, we'll do that uh, right very shortly. And then we'll talk a little bit about what we're gonna ask you to do as follow-up. This uh, web jam is um, gonna be linked to next week's web jam. So we really hope to have you all come back. We're gonna give you some things to do between the web jams, which should be a lot of fun. And then um, finally, uh, you, we're not really submitting questions, but if you wanna chat, um, please go ahead and feel free to do that. We're gonna interact, our team is gonna interact with you we'll have some moments uh, for, for you to provide input as well. Um, so everybody comes in muted. Uh, we'd like for everybody to stay on mute if you're not speaking, please. Um, use the chat to have discussions with, that's, this is gonna be interactive, not just with what's going on here on the screen, but with each other. Um, your video is on and we are recording this session. So if you don't want to be recorded, of course, just turn your video off, that's no problem. Um, and, um, we're going to use a couple of signals. If you've been with us before, you probably remember the, the cowbell, right? So um, every once in a while, I might um, interrupt Arna, who likes to talk nicely. Um, we love that, but I might interrupt him with a cowbell every once in a while. Um, and then uh, finally, um, I'm going to just hand it over to Arna. And if he goes to right. him, I'll just <laughs> ring the bell, okay? Like, All right. Oh, over to you, God. Arna. Well, so I'm going to keep it really brief. The things that we've learned so far, one of the most important things is Arna, shut up. That's, you know, during, you know, don't talk too much and then for long. Get to the point. Get to the, yes, so I'm getting to the point. Hello, um, we have the topic of today. Uh, it is gamification. We have a special guest, Yun Yin. I know her from the Zen Thinkers Academy because we've been working together uh, quite often uh, uh, and uh, always enjoyed it a lot. Um, so we're going, she's going to kind of, so the format now is that she basically is going to take over. Um, and that's sort of a new experiment for me as well. She's going to play a game with me. She sent me a parcel. I just received it. I have no clue what's in it. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to do. So I'm kind of, kind of uh, well, not nervous, but uh, excited uh, to see what play uh, she's going to uh, perform for us. What uh, I feel is really important uh, also the same for last time uh, with the rituals thing, play, um, and actually I think you, 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 you that's something you always say, play, everything is play. It's, but so use this as a lens um, and use it as a way to look at everything actually you do. What are the game uh, aspects of it? So um, I hope you're really gonna enjoy uh, this uh, web jam. Um, I hope I'm gonna enjoy it because I don't know what's <laughs> gonna happen. So, that's so you mean, um, I think that's my cowbell moment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> take over. So um, we want you to start sharing your screen. So there's a little technical issue right here. Mark, you have to stop sharing your screen and then Union is going to share her screen. Exactly. Uh, thank you, Arna. Yay. Over to you, Union. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to check because I'm not so sure. You are seeing a yellow slide. Is that right? Yeah, you have to push the play, Present. the presentation, yes. Yes, now, you, now we are, yes, okay. Yeah. So that was a new thing for me, okay, I survived. Um, thank you, Anna, for introducing me. It's very exciting to do this, I can tell you. Um, it's a challenge for anybody else, so you know, you can sign in with Arne, Mark, or uh, Esquel, or uh, Pedro for next time. Um, to go to the shops of gamification, one needs to pass through the playground. That's how I have named this web jam together with you. And the starting point, the starting point is this picture. Why, um, um, what can we learn from gamification? Let me move something away out of my sight because it's hindering me. Uh, 
Yes, got it. So um, what can we learn from gamification to improve our online meetings and get togethers? This was the very concrete uh, question asked by Arne to me. And uh, the first thought was this image, um, and I call it a chocolate covered broccoli. In game country, in game land, and there is something that the outside is so beautiful. It looks so delicious. I really want to grab it. I put my teeth in it, I put it in my mouth and then uh, it's broccoli. So um, uh, working on games, we want you to feel the game and we don't want you only stand still on the outside. Okay, so what is play then? What is play then? To me, play is like a chameleon. And that is because there are so many games. There are board games, digital games, educational games, commercial games. And there are so many people playing it, of course, because it's so such a characteristic of us being human. Um, but then when you know, I, I try to talk about it, uh, I can, uh, one web gem is not enough, not enough at all. So to give you an impression of play in my mind, it is this lovely animal, the chameleon. And I just said, you know, um, uh, talking or learning about uh, play by talking about it is very much like making love by meal. So we are not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I can't do that. I can't. I can't. And that's why I have brought in two different games. Uh, at the end of the whole session, then you will um, have a better understanding of play leading you to gamification. How does that sound? Okay, let's go. So the first game I have brought with me is uh, your favorite play inside. Um, the goal is to collect uh, all your favorite play quotes and share it again with everybody. Uh, when I entered this, this land of, of play, I heard so many sentences that, that struck me, really, really struck me. So one I have made up for myself is a playful mind is a joy forever and forever starts now, if not yesterday. So that's one you can dot down and there will many more of these kind of sentences coming by. Um, so the rules of this <laughs> little big game is you listen to what uh, Arne says, perhaps me or I'm giving quotes and you write them down, sleep over it one night. I very much would like your subconscious to work on it and sort it out for you. The next day, I hope your subconscious will tell you which one is your favorite and why. Then you write it on a card or on a photo or you make a drawing to go with it and you can post it on the mural wall. And at the end, we will let you know where the mural wall is. Arne and I are uh, actually the whole crew. We are going to collect these pictures and drawings again and reflect or talk it over. Meanwhile, we are going to make a video or a podcast about play about it. So that's the bigger game. Okay, let's go to the small game. That's the second game. I have a small game designed for Arne and it is right with him. Um, the goal of this game is to transfer game design theory and the essence of play to design thinkers. That's you, all you, 100. I'm feeling very, very nervous about it, but let's start. <laughs> You're feeling really nervous. <laughs> All right. Okay. No worries. No worries. Please. You have a I forgiving know. audience. No worries. I know. I know. <laughs> so what we might need to do, I think, is um, if uh, Yun Yen, if if this um, is the moment where Arna opens the box. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm going to spotlight Arna. 
Um, so for you guys who haven't out there controlled Zoom, you, there's this little feature where you can put a particular person on spotlight when you're in a meeting. So this will go to Arna and it's over to you, Arna. Yeah. You are spotlighted. Uh, okay, so Union, I, you want me to open the box, right? Yes, open the box. Yeah. And there so, are, yes. This one, right? Yes, that one. Right. And you can read out loud to us what you see. Oh. All right. So, well, first of all, it says small gain for Arnon, yes. higher goal, uh -huh. transfer game design theory, and the essence of play to design thinkers. Yes. Us. Okay. Is that okay. good? Can I move on? Yes, move on. As it was brought to me this afternoon by this mysterious man. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. Okay, and please read the cards. Okay, uh, the name of the game. Sorry, I'm going to sit down again. <clears throat> so the name of the game, Go of Gamification. One needs to pass through the playground. Is that what I... Uh, yes. Go to the shops? <laughs> you can... Uh, you can uh, Read the other cards right. as well. Okay. Goal. And open up. Okay, goal and rules. Goal, create a playground for your new friends. Rules, you choose a friend. I tell a story, you choose a toy and place both on the playground to finish in about 40, 50 minutes. Yes. Well, we're gonna speed it a little bit. Um, <laughs> picture get on board map of the playground bushes and trees entrance exit please put them first on the playground and then all right yes. so okay so, so you have your instructions and i show the audience uh, what you what was written on the cards so i take one moment i'll go to my slides and where am I? I'm here. Okay, so. So I show the people what uh, is on your desk, the name of the game, the goal and the rules. So Arne is asked to create a playground for his oh, new really? friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then uh, Arne, if you wait for me one moment. Mm. And I want Arne to start. So I told him, get on board, pick the, the map, the bushes, the entrance and the exit and put them on the playground first. So that's what he's doing right now. I stop sharing. And while you, so you can design this playground as you want. And I've put there 16 bushes and trees. I know they look like flowers, but there's a reason for that. <laughs> um, you can many bushes. <laughs> so you are constructing the, the playground right now. And there's a reason why I give you 16. So I go to the next slide. Because these 16 um, flowers are, hold on are 16 definitions of fun. Uh, we all know when we have fun. And for ourselves, we might know in which um, activity we, we make fun. Uh, but seeing six, 16 different of them um, could also lead you to think that if somebody likes beauty and I like discovery, do we have, do I, um, can I use the, uh, the knowledge that somebody is playing in a different way to make a better interaction with this person? So you might have a different uh, fun activity than somebody else, uh, but knowing that there are more than the ones you have can give you opportunities to make better interactions. So Arna, I'm going to read them for you since you are um, designing the playground. Um, beauty, immersion, intellectual problem solving, competition, 
social interaction, comedy, thrill of danger. We had that this morning. Physical activity. Having it now. I'm having it now. Really. Love, <laughs> love, creation, power, discovery, advancement and completion, application of an ability. You are being tested now, I think. <laughs> yes. Altruism and learning. And I think we all recognize learning very, very much. Okay. So I leave this slide now and I go back to Arne and see what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So he's designing his playground. I think there is an entry and an exit. Um, no, well, not yet. Not yet. Well, okay. Well, yeah, I think this one is actually yeah. nice. This is a nice entry. And then, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so they need to stand, or or is that just up to me? It's up to you. Right, it's totally good. up to you. Okay. Awesome. All right. so, okay. 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 Then you can open up the other boxes because there's more material for you to play with. These are your new friends, and oh, you okay. and I are there in the box as well. And if you pick up you and me first, the others will come later. Um, I'll put you into the... Uh... Yeah, you put me there, okay. Yeah, that's okay too. People can see you. <laughs> okay. And do you remember, um, you find me a toy, and I do like the shovel uh, that's in the other box, because I like to dig deep in play. Last box. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I, I, I need to find your shovel, you said. Yeah, right? it's, I think it's uh, at the bottom. It's a small shovel. Um. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. All right. So now you are ready to choose new friends. Okay. So I pick one. Yes, you pick the first one. All right. Um, so I just want to jump in here. Uh, we may need to pick up the pace just a little bit so that we can get to where we need to go. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I do, this. Rob. I'm going to go back on mute. Robin. Okay, I'm Robin. Okay. Let's go to Robin. Uh, Robin as a friend, I don't know so well, but um, she uh, and together with her colleagues, she has a model which is called MDA. And in this models, um, she talks about the mechanics, the dynamics and the aesthetics, as you can see on this slide. And the very meaning behind this model is that the designer is firstly focused on the mechanics, uh, but the player sees the aesthetics from his or her side. And um, that means that when we design games, uh, when we design play, we must be aware of this difference. So examples of the aesthetics is uh, there's a challenge. We're not seeing the slide if you wanted to share, share the slide, by the way. You are not seeing the slide? I'm not seeing the slide, no. Okay, I'm going back. I see Robin and me. You see Robin? Okay. So, yes. Okay, then I'm going to, yes, hold on. So this was Robin. Are you, this was Robin? Yeah. And in this model, uh, I gave you some examples of the aesthetics 
uh, you can imagine in games there is a challenge, fellowship, or expression, and the dynamics are the time pressure, government play, information sharing, constructing a world like you are constructing a playing ground, and mechanics could be card shoveling, loving uh, spawn points, or repairing. So the designer is on the mechanics side, but the player is on the aesthetic side. And somewhere in between, in the dynamics, they will meet each other. And that is um, uh, good to understand when you are going to look for gamification mechanics uh, to, uh, to apply in the interactions of online meetings. Okay, let's go to another new friend. And for that, um, Mark is going to uh, set a poll because you okay. audience can help or and choose a new friend. Okay, so um, we had, um, who was it that we just had? Robin Hunecke. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch a poll folks. And if you're paying attention, you do not select Robin Hunecke. But what we want you to do is select one of the other people, and you're going to basically determine which of the people that Arna pulls out of his box, okay, as his next friend. Are you guys ready? We're going to do the poll. It's going to be about a 30-second poll, and whichever one of the people uh, wins is the one that Arna's going to pull out of the box, except for Ron, uh, Robin. Don't pick Robin. Okay, here we go. And tick-tock, tick-tock. We're at 10 seconds. I'm going to let it go for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and ending the poll. And the results are Daniel Pink. Daniel, Daniel Pink. Pink. Okay, let's go to Daniel Pink. And um, sorry, guys. Uh, share screen first. You guys know Daniel Pink, of course, from his book, Drive. And what is, let me see. Um, what is so amazing uh, is that he has spelled us for, he spelled out for us what uh, intrinsic motivation is. It is motivation that's coming from you inside it's not money it's not uh, promises coming from outside as uh, that's the intrinsic motivation when you play intrinsic motivation immediately is triggered so that was a very important message to to remember and he also says uh, there is this tom sawyer effect tom sawyer was painting a fence and that's not a very lovely job to do by yourself all the time. What Tom Sawyer did was making this little job like a play and suddenly his friends helped him. So making uh, a serious job, perhaps boring, making it into a play could trigger the intrinsic motivation to do it. Now I have one more slide to show you um, how drive is constructed. When you are able to give somebody autonomy and you can trigger the, his skill to, to master something and there's a purpose, you actually are raising his intrinsic motivation. Giving somebody autonomy is giving the person the choice to choose the task, to choose the time when to do it, to choose the people to do it with and how to do it you see mastery here is about um, getting using your skills to become really really good at something and we are uh, referring here to the work of carol dweck uh, mindset is a mentality it's more important than your actual talent mastery also asks you to invest and so it is uh, asking pain and grit. And then at last, as a, mastery is an asymptote. It means um, you can um, work on something to master it, but you uh, will never really 100% uh, 
uh, will reach that state. So you always keep on learning and improving yourself. And purpose, you cannot do it alone. Something bigger than you, that's what you want to contribute. So if we online can make our meetings um, in such a way that the intrinsic motivation is stimulated, perhaps play is one of the instruments to do so. Okay, so this was about Daniel Pink. Um, I think we are ready for the second poll, Mark. Okay, and just to check in on time, I think we might have time for maybe two more at the most. Okay. Uh, all right, so I am going to launch uh, poll number two. So it's the same thing as we did before, folks. And um, I have taken out the ones that have already gone. So just choose which of the um, friends you want Arna to pull out of the box next. And here we go. We're going to have 20 seconds for this poll. Are you ready? Thumbs up. Nobody's got it. Oh, there's some thumbs. Okay, here we go. And 20 seconds is started now. And we've got Mihaly, and then we've got Jane coming up really fast on the left, and it looks like Mihaly. They all want to play. They all want to play. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. There we go, end in the poll. And it was close. We had 32% that said Jane. 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 There we go. Oh, that's good. Uh -oh. Okay, let me go, let me go, let me go. Okay. Um, then I'm going to share my screen again for Jane. Yes. Um, Jane McGonagall. Uh, just have a, let's do this one as quickly as we can and we can maybe get another one in, okay? Okay, okay. Jane, you should just look her up on, uh, on TEDx. She has this lovely talk about reality is broken. The reality that you and I are sharing, if that is broken, you know, why is it in games that we don't feel that it is broken? So that's uh, how she made me enter this world of gaming. She also gave a very good definition of a game. It has to have the goal, rules, feedback, and again, this autonomy thing, a voluntary participation. So that's Jane, but there's so much more about Jane to tell. Okay, let's go. Let's do a, 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 another one, Lamar. You wanna do another one? Awesome, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna launch another poll and we'll hear from another one of Arna's friends and we should, be on poll three, here we go, Arna's ready. And are you guys ready? We got another 20 seconds, here goes the poll. Oh, it looks like Mahali is gonna win and Manfred's catching up and then Stuart, here comes Stuart. Stuart's coming up really strong. We've got eight seconds now. Oh, Mahali is gonna win. I think it looks pretty, pretty good that everybody, it oh, looks last so minute, good. and I'm ending the poll. And I'm going to share the results. It's Mihaly. Mihaly, okay. Looks really angry though. <laughs> yes, he looks very angry, but he is the professor for positive uh, psychology. <laughs> Sorry. How did that work out? How did that work out? But anyway, he, uh, he, he started. He started saying, "Our natural state of mind is chaos, and we need fl uh, flow activities to He's organize the thoughts. To He's organize the thoughts." Man and be calm and have control over our life again. Yeah. And what are uh, flow activities? That is play, sports, rituals, uh, stuff like that. So this is very beautiful. Play is um, helping us to get into good flow, having an optimal experience. And you all, of course, know the flow ch uh, channel, but do you know the different components of flow? So there's the list, eight components of flow. Challenging activity that requires skills, merging of action and awareness, clear goals, again, and feedback, concentration on the task, the paradox of control. It is, um, what is meant here is we don't worry whether we have the control or lose the control when we are in flow. The loss of self-consciousness, I hope, um, um, it's, it's losing, losing uh, the, that you are so aware that what you are doing and then transformation of time. We lose track of time actually. So these are eight different components of flow. Okay, perhaps another one, Mark. Can we do the last one? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we have time for one more and we'll do the last one. Uh, Arne, quit playing with the camera. <laughs> Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Um, oh, okay. God. Sorry. Quit. He looks really angry. Quit, quit, quit. There we go. Okay, for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to relaunch the poll. So what you don't want to vote for is Mahali because he has too many consonants in his name, according to <laughs> what I said. That was very funny. I'm going to relaunch. Don't pick Mahali, but we're going to relaunch that last poll. Is everybody ready? Here we go. And off you go. Was, yeah. <laughs> oh, Daniel Pink's still there. You shouldn't be voting for Daniel. I don't know what happened. We got the wrong poll, but it doesn't matter. Man Manfred's coming up. Manfred's winning. And we've got, oh my goodness, we might have about five more seconds. Um, and it's looking pretty tight. And we've got some people that are voted for that have already talked, but it doesn't matter. Here we go. We're going to end the poll. And the results are, we've got Manfred Ketz de Vries. <laughs> okay. Manfred Ketz de Vries. Um, that's a leadership uh, professor and let me find his slide over here yes um, close this one go to this one um, uh, so he is uh, this professor at INSEAD and uh, imagine uh, you are an executive at Google you have got some problems who would you see you would see him and not just uh, just a psychiatrist or psychologist uh, downtown uh, so that's this guy um, he gives play a very important uh, place in, in, in coaching and in leadership um, because we need it so much to let this seriousness uh, uh, dissolve a little bit and find creativity and new ideas as well. It actually um, tells us, um, it, it ref refers to how did we play as, as children? What is our own play uh, history and how did that um, help or did not help us to become an executive? So he defines play for us as well. And he says, okay, you need me time, make believe, mastery and meaning. And something that he asks us is, do you play? So that was the last one, I think, Mark. Back to you. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, Yin Yin. So we're, um, I think we have um, a last slide where we're going to introduce uh, and remind people about the big game, right? About the, yes. uh, one of their activities. Now, I just want to jump in here real quick and remind everybody that even though this has been a gamified version of presenting content, we're going to have games that we're going to introduce here shortly for you to do um, between now and next week. But we're also going to do the 30 minute backstage session where we can have some conversation about uh, what's been presented. So hold tight for that. That will come at the top of the hour. Um, Yun Yen, you want to share yes. your screen with the next, and if you wouldn't mind just making sure you click on the presentation mode in your PowerPoint so that we yes. see it on the screen, that would be awesome. Thank you. Um, uh, let, let me see. Uh, can I go one step back? Sure. Is, is, is this right? You're seeing towards gamification, huh? Yeah, we're seeing the presentation mode, so I think you need Again? To oh, so sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Um, and I could potentially run the slides for my, my computer as well if you need me to. Uh, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. So this was the end slide, actually. In this game, I wanted to show you 16 Forms of Fun. Uh, a game model, what's a good game, autonomy, mastery, purpose, eight components of flow, for a model, MBA model. I hope you have seen Arna playing and uh, I hope you've seen the physical, tangible game artifacts. The eight play personalities, we have to save that for another time and the six steps of play process and an example of an examination game. All right, then um, we go back to the big game. I hope you were able to pick uh, pick one uh, or more quotes while we were talking. Um, the, the, the rules I said in the beginning was sleep over it one night, let your subconscious work on the quotes, see which one is making a lot of sense to you 
and then tomorrow or after two days, write it on a digital, digital postcard or drawing, and then put it in a big mural wall. And Mark is able to show us where this mural wall is. Okay, so let's sharing. do the fantastic switcheroo. And I will share my screen, um, get the right one of the this mural up here. Sharing screen, hold on, wait for it. Here we go. So what we're going to ask you guys to do, and Yun Yen, you jump in if I make a mistake here, um, but we're going to share with you uh, via email to everybody a, a few uh, bits of homework for you to do between now and next week. And the, the first is we want you to write your quote and make a drawing or make it creative or whatever. You can do it on a piece of paper. You can do it digitally. That's fine if that's your, your thing. Um, and then upload that picture to this mural. So this is the WebJam 5 gamification postcards. Um, and it's just a big canvas. And what we want to do is for next week, we're going to kind of look at this picture and see everybody's creativity. Um, just take a picture of your postcard with your quote, maybe a, a drawing, and throw it up on uh, this mural. Again, we will provide a link to this mural in the follow-up email. Yep. And I'm going to stop sharing and give it back over to you. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And then um, because the two uh, sessions are connected to each other, um, we would like you and we invite you to work in 10 different teams. Um, focus, see what kind of interactions in online meetings could be improved or supported by game mechanisms. These game mechanisms, I will post on the mural wall too. Um, so uh, uh, for next session, we also want you uh, to present what you have found in these coming seven days. So, um, I'm going to ask Mark to put on um, uh, the mural wall. Oh no, I'm sorry. We think we should break out to, uh, to get the people in teams divided. Yes. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, um, I had started to put everybody, uh, it's, um, we will go for, so what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna put you guys into rooms and you should have maybe up to 10 people in your room. Um, there will probably be some of the, the team, uh, the WebJam team in there with you, um, but, uh, introduce yourselves, take 10 seconds to say your name and where you're from. You're going to be working with these folks um, if you decide to take the assignment uh, between now and next week to have some fun and work on this uh, gamification. Um, so I'm going to put you in the room for four minutes. Um, and then we we'll... have the numbers referred to on what's called the key, but for purposes of confidentiality, I just use the numbers on this page. I don't think it's confidential. So it for months. So you I'm going to put you guys all in, in, uh, in breakout rooms. <laughs> yeah. um, and yeah. and uh, I don't know what happened. Let me, so let me see. we have a gross the profit. Only one with nine months. Since let's mute Ultra, all. That was easy. But we, everybody's yeah. gross profit model is right here. On there we go. I did it. Okay. Sorry, everybody. Um, that's a, a wonderful, the, the confidentiality was lost there for just a second. I'm going to put you all in um, breakout rooms and here you go. Be back in four, four minutes. Hello. Hello. Let me see if I can get you in a breakout room too. Um, uh, I got a few people that are stragglers here. Vico, hey, how are you? You might be going, you might be in hyperspace. Yeah. Um, for some reason, I don't see you go into a room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's where where am I? Now? Oh, yeah, it says it. you're supposed to be. Let me put you in a different room then, just for fun. I'll put you in three, see if you go there. For some reason, you're not going, but it's the beauty of technology, right? You're you're backstage in the backstage now, man. <laughs> Vico, I think I've seen you here before. You are are you in uh, Estonia? Is that what it was? Yes, that was okay. correct. Right. No. I was here the last time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, 
but I can't get you to go to a room. It must be your Estonian technology, like the internet um, that you guys have got the best internet in the world, I think, or something like that, right? It's too good for your webcam. Too good, right, exactly. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, it's not moving you because I've, do you get a message that says, do you want to go to a breakout room? Nothing. Okay. All right. Everybody should be coming back now anyway. I think. That's weird. Yeah. So I'm the only one. Yeah, you are the only one. Uh, you ruined, you ruined my be. Okay. Yeah, I don't. You, apparently, you're in breakout room one, but you're you're not. So, um, we'll get you in a room so that you can, if you want to do the the activity between now and next week, we'll make sure you get in a room. Okay, I'll make a note of that, Lyco. Hansen. Maybe I can try to log out and log in again. Yeah, to be honest with you, there's only a minute and a half left in the room. Yeah, um, but maybe it happens the next time as well. Yeah, I think what you're supposed to get is a little notification that says, do you want to go into a breakout room? But I'm not 100% sure. Last time it was automatically just... And yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I'd, again, I, I, I see you here, but I and, and you're supposed to be in breakout one, but for some reason you're not going... Um, I just put you in two, I think. No, you, you're in three. We'll put you in a room and we'll let you know what room you go in, okay? Sure. It, it, it's not going to matter. There, I think... Oh, here is a button, join breakout room. <laughs> ah, yes. He went into breakout room. So people on YouTube Live that this is totally backstage, um, what you just saw was some of the beauties of uh, using Zoom and breakout rooms. Um, apparently, as as the on the other side, you have to accept that you're going into a breakout room, um, and that happened. Right, and we're going to be closing the rooms in about fifteen seconds. I'm sitting here in command control room which is a lot of fun. These uh, hours go by quite quickly. Got two more seconds and then I think we're gonna get a notification that the breakout rooms, we're gonna close the breakout rooms and everybody should be coming back in about 15 seconds. Here they come. Hello, everybody, welcome back. You've gone through the wormhole and you're back into the main room. Cool. I think we've got everybody coming back. How you been, Mark? Good. I tell you, this, these hours on the Wednesday web jams, they go by pretty quickly. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like, I, I, there's on our side, there's so much kind of things going. It's like, it's like being in a control room with all the little knobs and buttons and things. We have to make sure we move everybody around and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but uh, I don't know, do we have our hosts back? Yeah, Pedro's there. I'm here, I'm here. So why are we doing with Mark? Uh, Mark. The backstage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what okay, so Yunyan. Yes. Um, the last little thing, right? Uh, this was the last little thing. Um, Are we going to show the homework for the teams, I believe, right? Oh, yes, on the mural wall. Yes, I need Pedro, my man. Where is he? I can, I can do the, I got the mural. Um, yeah. do, do you want to, do you have a slide to describe what the homework is? Uh, no, it's on the mural already. Okay, Pedro. We'll just go straight to the mural. I'm yeah. going to do the mural then. Here we go. Share. So we're going to send everyone in an email the link to your mural space. So if you've been in, you know, breakout group one, two, three, four, what, you know, what have you, that's your space. Yeah. 
I was in team number three with Johanna. Johanna also asked me uh, how uh, to keep contact with each other. So you see there's a place where you can fill in uh, how you uh, can be contacted. Then in the block of the reference materials, uh, of course, I will put uh, the uh, presentation in here, but also other links and, and clips and videos. So you have it all, uh, you have it all together. Now the team activity uh, is what I call the assignment. And um, you see three blocks. You see a situation, proposed game mechanics, and the online gamification of the chosen situation. Uh, I think Arne and I will um, uh, uh, perhaps add a little bit more of situations uh, uh, that you can find in online meetings that uh, you want to improve. And of course, you can choose your own situations as well. Then uh, there is a cheat sheet later on on game mechanics. You can choose something to uh, support that situation, that very interaction. Uh, if possible, it would be very nice uh, that you make an experiment um, with it um, well, in a smaller group or with perhaps your clients who love to experiment. And then um, we would like to ask you to make a presentation next week. And I think the very specific details we will put in here as well. Okay, Mark. Wonderful. All mm -hmm. right. So thank you, Yun Yun. That was amazing. Um, can I invite everybody to give Yun Yun a big uh, round of applause for, for all that she's done? I know we can't hear it. I mean, we probably should thank learn. Thank you. It. Yeah. Thank Wonderful. you. Um, we're going to wrap up the official program here. Uh, team, hey, we're ahead of schedule. That is amazing. <laughs> Oh, you must be so happy, Mark. No, I'm going to give it to you. You'll you'll use those minutes up, I'm sure. <laughs> you gave me it to me now. That uh, yeah. So well, well, here we go. I, I um, over to you. But I have my cowbell at the top of the hour. We'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. So um, as is our ritual, um, we will end uh, uh, at the top of the hour. <laughs> there's Wayne World. Um, we will kind of uh, then move to the backstage. Basically, it's the end of the program. Uh, we're going to chill there. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what happened and uh, what was it any good? Did we like it? What what was the what you know what happened and what did did we learn anything from technology and everything? So please hang with us if you want to. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, I think. Um, I, I have to process uh, some of these things because it's interesting. We got, Arna, Arna, are we going to do a cool down? Because we did a warm up. Yeah. We thought we were going to do a cool down, yeah, right? We are going to do a cool down. So, again, if anyone from the audience, from the people who are uh, online right now, has a nice idea for a cool down or an end of the program, we can also have a, I mean, we're talking cool down. I think we could also just use energy because we've been sitting a lot. So, who would like to step up and uh, give us a uh, an exercise to end? So, who is going to step up and uh, anyone to just experiment, just do something? Because that's something we I'm also you know I'm really struggling with how to do these exercises or do do games or do do kind of interactive things while we are on screen. So, uh, who would like to do a little exercise? Uh, and then a little experiment. Anybody out there? Speak up. Unmute yourself. It's sure. a, a complete experiment. It's, yes. it's actually, I just did it as a check in. I think it could be fun to use as a check out as well. Uh, what people are going to do next. Uh, it, we're in different time zones, etc. cetera. Um, it's the good old one. You stand up if you've got blue socks, etc. But it's just using Zoom. So basically, you put your thumb or whatever on, this, on the camera. Yep. So if everybody does that or post it or you know, probably a post-it is better for service designers. It's probably closer than a thumb. <laughs> so we see this beautiful wall of colors. And then, All right. okay, everybody who's going to eat with a, uh, with a fam family now, um, reveal yourself. So you put your, your screen up so you can see people more than you can see the slide. So this is funny to see, yeah? 
Okay, we have an overview of that. Thank you very much. And put back the thumb. So everybody who's going to work now and really intensively work and focused now, remove your thumb. Oh, not me. <laughs> but Mark, can you stop sharing this the slides? Because I believe we'll see more people. Yeah, the sharing. slide will be. Uh, is, is Mark. Yep. Yeah, yeah, give yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, so these are the the working people are revealing it to themselves, right? So yeah, I'm not I'm not going to do anything anymore. It's gonna I'm gonna collapse and have dinner with family. Peter, you're uh, you are mute. You're muted, Peter. Sorry. That's because my kids were very noisy in the background. Uh, okay. Uh, I, <laughs> no worries. So uh, everybody who is um, isolated, uh, like, like put the thumb again. So everybody who is isolated somewhere else than their normal home, reveal yourselves. Gotcha. You have to put your thumb on yours when you're. Uh... <laughs> or either that or you you are somewhere else you don't want to be there. oh really great some people might not want to play the game and i think that's perfect exactly uh, so it, you just do whatever i mean you can always check in and check out answer or not answer right, so yeah this is just a way to check in check out so give a guy kind of sympathy of that we are all in a yeah, yeah. in this covid and, and what what are our next actions for the day etc and you can choose various different of course questions that go very close if you know people or very distant if like here you don't know people well that's it cool thank you that's actually good. pretty cool pretty cool marvelous, marvelous. yes like that yeah all right top of the hour um top I'm, of the hour we are going to move to uh backstage and uh, I want to thank everyone for uh, being part of the program. Um, any last things, last words, Mark, before we go backstage? Um, that's <laughs> it, folks. All right. Thank you, Yun Yan, again. Thank you very much, uh, Arna. And um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll flip over to the backstage. Um, and I guess everybody knows what this is about. If you're here uh, and those, not, not everybody maybe, but those of you who haven't been here before, um, what we're gonna do is just kind of an open unstructured conversation. And for this open unstructured uh, conversation, um, uh, basically unmute yourself. We'll talk over each other. We'll try to be polite, um, no fighting, uh, no throwing sand in the sandbox. Um, and if you have something you want to share uh, as a as a game or some insights about something that you've learned, um, that would be awesome. So, yeah, cool. Jerome, I see you. you. You put up your hand. Yes. If you want to talk, just unmute yourself. You're free to. Thank you, guys. It was a cool session. <laughs> what was the, what was the thing that you uh, that you that you that you liked or the, what sparked maybe some ideas or? Um... Well, I, I liked the the uh, the very playful way of uh, going through the content of a presentation. Uh, and I work at Accenture, so we like to present a lot. Uh, and this this is actually a very cool way to, uh, to make it more uh, interactive and more playful. So I loved it. It was interesting because I didn't know what was going to happen. But the one thing that I really wanted to kind of I, I at least I hope kind of um, show, or, or at least maybe it, it gives uh, a little bit of inspiration is how, because that's sort of, you know, we're all struggling with this new world and how to how to make it playful and fun, but also how to kind of use the analog and the digital. So is it, so because we have to really rediscover the fact that yes, you might be behind a computer, but it doesn't mean you can't use paper and, 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 and you know, materials and uh, uh, from the real world, it's so to speak. So I was kind of, so yeah, I, I don't know. Any, anyone else wants to share some thoughts? Uh, I think an um, NSA, I work in a business context. So sometimes uh, now we have to do really, really a lot of uh, um, remote meetings with people that you generally sometimes you know have the opportunity to do real work on on the walls and do something more hands-on and you have to be really struggling to keep everybody focused 
but sometimes um, because also uh, of timing, you only have like five to 10 minutes to use that to, you know, be more personal with people, to introduce something. So I was wondering uh, what kind of short kind of things, engaging things um, we can add this. Cause I, I, I really like the last one of, of the, uh, the cool down. Um, uh, but I think how, how can we have short things that you can use in that time just to have people um, to get out of the working mode and, and be a little more cheerful and playful. And, yeah. and generally they re-engage when there is something funny. Yeah, I like that. I think maybe um, as we think about the, the future sessions that we can put more of these little um, fun energizers in things. It was great. We had two good ones today from, from the crowd, but maybe we could do a whole session on just energizers. <laughs> uh, well, I think about that. I like that. That would be a, a good idea because yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah, very something nice. that you can take on depending on how how is the meeting going and the energy in the room and the virtual room goes. So we can you can pick depending on 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 that. Can I add something to uh, to this conversation? Um, there are different ways to, uh, uh, to, to approach the play and using the game mechanics. Um, if you make the division between, okay, the, now the serious part of the design thinking process is going to start, um, and then there's a fun energizer, the fun energizer stops, what kind of situation is going to start again? Is that a serious situation? If the border between these stages is so strict, then um, uh, I'm, I'm afraid, I, I, I should reframe it. Uh, there are better ways to make this border, to erase this border and keeping the play. I hope I, I can. No, because one of the things you want people to, you want to be in a flow, right? Is that what you were saying, you're trying to say? So that, that you're not like, yes. oh, so, okay, play time's over. It's like when yeah. my, you know, my kids at school, like, uh, yes. you know, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, exactly. it work, <laughs> you know, and then there's play. And for my children, like, it's, you know, it's all play, right? So, uh, and, but no, 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 you have to kind of, so we teach ourselves that serious things are not play, but, uh, yeah. are, but maybe. But I, I think that it's also about the tone of voice that can make you, um, let's say, blurry the uh, the border between the energizers and the working session, the actual working session. Exactly, if you keep Diana. A very friendly tone of voice in order to maintain the playfulness. You can make it less serious as an approach. Yes, exactly, Diana. And everything that you bring in is it the voice? Is it the word? Is it the play? Is it the clothing? Is it uh, the way how you approach something? Is it having the knowledge but not saying it because you want the other to react? Everything is play. And if you consider it that way, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of sources to use. But I, I'm struggling with, and I've, I've shared this many times, but I'm, I'm still, I'm struggling, less and less I'm struggling with this, but I'm struggling with, as a facilitator, um, you know, if, uh, because, you know, I've been so kind of trained in, in guiding groups in physical spaces, having control over the space, uh, being able to, you know, as your tool and, and reading the room and the energy, I, you know, if I, if I use uh, a, a sort of comedy, you know, jokes uh, to kind of sense whether, you know, where it's a connection or, you know, the whole thing. So, right, as you saw, you know, you're, anyone who works with groups knows kind of the, to kind of the, to read the room, to feel the energy. I, so this is, I'm like play and improv. And uh, so as we notice, like it's, to me, this is a very, I, you know, I feel like I start really from the, from the beginning, you know, like I'm, I'm back to zero. Um, where do, where can I play? Where can I do improv? Because the preparation for these kind of online sessions and the control you have over the space that people are in, the context that they're in, to me is very limited. And also tone of voice. So, I, I, so Diana, I think that's a really good, I, good, good point. Tone of voice. I, I, I notice that when people are behind the screen, behind a computer, 
they speak differently. They they start talking a little bit more softer. Go, they don't go like this. All right, people, let's go and do this thing. La la la. Which maybe you want to do when you do like a a, a session, uh, maybe. But because your the tone of voice is different. Yes. It is. It, it, you do because you're sitting or you're. Why am I? Why are we sitting? We never sit. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. You, okay. Uh, you are describing a very tangible world uh, around us. We can see in each other rooms, but there's another world and that is inside our head. So if you imagine a, a video game player, you know, um, they, are, they are also making worlds up in their mind. So perhaps, you know, perhaps we can grow stronger to create those virtual worlds while the, the stimuli from the screen and seeing your room, my room can become less. Yeah, but still as a facilitator, I'm, I'm, it, it, it makes me a little bit nervous and anxious and because there, there's things in my brain, for instance, if you have a group of people, and I remember the first webinar we did at, you know, when we started doing these experiments, our first webinar, we had like, what was it? Eight eight hundred people in the room, which is way too many. But but you see, all of a sudden, you lose like a hundred people. And that to me, it's like if you are on the stage and you have a you know group of people uh, in the room. Same same what happened here. And all of a sudden, you know, twenty people stand up and they leave the room. <laughs> it's like oh, they don't like me anymore. I've done something wrong. This is terrible. Yeah. Right? What you so, are doing. Don't look at the numbers. Yes. What what you are doing exactly? This is the play. In this play, you create a new culture of online meeting. This is exactly play what yeah, you show. I, don't, I, want to, I want to call them up and say, why did you leave? What was call that? them. <laughs> There's, so here's the thing that, that, that I've learned through this is that, you know, we're play in our, in these web jams, um, we're, we're, we're modulating between two different kinds of what, we would normally consider um, in the, the old normal broadcast medium and interactive medium. We are not reproducing a workshop, yeah. right? And, and when we reproduce a workshop, I think what we need to do is we need to do the same thing we do in person, some of the same things. And one of those things is I, like, if you get into the second or third session, whether it's multi-day live online stuff, or if you're spreading it out over weeks, you're on the second and third, people will know how to mm -hmm. act. They'll know how to interact, right? And you, but we do that same creation of the space right at the beginning of all of our in-person sessions as well. And, and but it's the, the, the thing that's uncomfortable, I think for us, Arna, is that this medium we're not familiar with. I'm really sort of thinking a lot about how um, you, you go, when, we, you, you when we see these little thumbnails, these little, uh, you know, there's eight movies I have to watch. My brain is, is really, really con. You know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at myself. That's just messed up. You yeah. never sit in, in, you're never facilitating with a mirror in front of your face and just kind of going like this around. So you, I wonder if our brains over time are going to just rewire so that we can handle all this stuff. But it, so, it's, Mark. so, Mark, there is actually there's a there's a button. By the way, Hugo has, has raised his hand, so I want to give him a turn. But, but there is actually uh, a function. Uh, so I, I, I the other day I said you can put a little tape on on, a, on your own little screen. It is such a relief not to see yourself on screen. But the function you can actually hide uh, self. Hide self view, which, which yeah. is weird because you're like you're not doing it because you're like, but I want to see myself. Like, why? Hi. I don't see myself. Any when I talk to people, why do I want to see myself? Hide self view. Hide self view. Arne. I just muted. Arne. I just muted. How, how do you hide yourself on Zoom? Yeah. Hide so on the, on your picture. On your picture, there's a there's a dotted line. If you click on the dotted line, there's yeah. your picture. Hide self view. Hide or it shows oh, that's that. I learned something new today. Try it out. It is a relief. It's a yeah. relief. Your brain will go like, ah, oh, I don't have to check myself all the time. You right. go first. You go. You go. Your turn. Yeah. I, I tried, but I continue to see myself. Yeah. You go. Okay. Yeah, Arne, you go. Arne, uh, I, I str I, I'm struggling also with your uh, what to, with what to, you are saying regarding the the facilitation because. It is very difficult for us to, how can I say, to, to deploy ourselves uh, as persons and with energy 
on, on this kind of media and on this kind of structures. So uh, one of the approaches that uh, I've, I've tried and worked well is to approach webinars and facilitation workshops like uh, partially as a radio program. So you talk, you ask questions, you have a more colloquial approach uh, probably than you would have if you are in a, a business environment. Uh, other thing is about physicality. So for example, standing up uh, for me works well. I'm not standing up at the moment because I don't have a, a base, but you, if you work and you communicate with people standing up, it's a more easier and you can, your physicality is different. Yes. So, and then the other approach and the other mindset that I'm I'm trying to 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 get is uh, is um, is about an expression that someone mentioned here at the chat. We must uh, be, begin to be uh, people people's DJs. Yeah, I did <laughs> about yeah. Mark. I, I I was thinking about Mark like people DJ with all the buttons and volumes and. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because we must we must facilitate both the workshop, the context, the structure, the games, and the technology. I do so, want to add something, Arne. <laughs> so for me, it's like it's like a radio program, uh, with, without our, uh, my own image. That uh, that, tip, that 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 you that you you gave us about uh, um, and, uh, hiding ourselves is very very good, because my own face is a. A distraction because oh. I'm trying to see uh, if I'm I don't know expensive or nervous or introvert or so. So yeah, yeah, get yeah. rid of our picture and just look at uh, at the camera or don't look at all. Just be yeah. like you would in a, a radio program with with the proper behaviors, of course. Yeah. Arna, I want to yeah, add you, something. You, yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I want to take your attention back to what Mark uh, uh, said that he's staring at himself. So yeah. the interaction, the interaction he is having with the screen is with himself. Now, how can you design something of a play around it, around it? So uh, this, the idea that came up in my mind is, okay, Mark, every time you look at yourself, do you put uh, a euro or a dollar in a pot? So to train yourself to train yourself to get to get used to it. So that would be a, just, you know, a very, very small Super. example how to use a game mechanic to yeah. help you um, right. choose, choose a solution. Okay. I was, I was, I, Peter. I do that with yeah. cookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was listening, I was, making, uh, uh, <laughs> I was listening to a podcast last night. It's really cool what you just said, Yin Yin, because I hadn't really thought about it this way, but the podcast was about um, uh, two guys were, a guy was talking to his stepfather and his mother had passed away <clears throat> a few years ago <clears throat> and he'd made this new bond with his stepfather and they would talk to each other and it was maybe two or three years after his mother had passed away and, and he says, I feel like I'm not thinking about my mom. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm building this great relationship with you that's much better than it was when my mom was around, but, um, I, you know, I, I feel like I'm losing my mom. And he said, you know what you should do is you take a picture of your mom, put it on the wall or put it on a, a shelf, but every day move the picture to another location. And he said, you'll build a new connection with your mom. And I didn't think of that as gamification, but I guess that is a, a gamification technique, right? I Good. think that's awesome. Yeah. But Pizza. what when you are doing um, offline and instead um, not seeing yourself, um, and I agree that it's very distracting, but what about the other people that resist to be shown on video? Because then you also seem to lose interaction, especially when the meetings are quite long. I mean, for generally half an hour, you can still keep a focus when it goes a one hour and there is nothing there to keep focus. And then we start seeing people switching off the camera. So, um, and then it's like you are talking to the wall. I can see a very green, nice background, big salad background. Yeah, it's me, it's, it's Minecraft. Uh. Okay. Oh, wow. Sorry, Manuel. Could yeah, we give ahead, Peter? Yeah. Uh, Peter wants to ask something for a very, very long time. I've seen. Yeah, yeah, it's just a comment. I, I be
Yes, um, working as an actor, also trying this medium out with other actors, especially, but also in, in meetings. We've been testing also as applied improvisation practitioners. We've been testing the thing with the fact that you actually look mainly on yourself when you talk in video meetings, which is insane because it's like an avatar that mirrors you back. So when you remove the self, self view in these huge meetings, it's really difficult because you have to have all these small things you look at, but in smaller groups, then you then you feed better in, in a, or in a very different way on the people there because you only have their faces to feed from and not your own mirror image, so to say. And that gives a, a very different, yeah, exactly. So maybe you could put up an avatar of yourself, <laughs> whatever. But but it just in smaller groups, I think it's it's more uh, obvious how you can use it that you will feed from the body language or mimics of. of... Yes, thank you. I oh, hope like yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is how okay. I run my meeting today. So everybody was very shocked because I'm a very serious person generally, and everybody was quite shocked to see me with a red nose. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Just one person didn't laugh, so everybody yeah. else then relaxed. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I, Manuel, do you want to go now? Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually had a, um, a comment on that, uh, uh, on what Liege was saying about participation when, when some people just turn off their video and just ghost your session. Uh, but there's something to be said about uh, voluntary participation in games. Actually, Bernie Suits... Uh, uh, stated as one of the essential aspects of games is voluntary participation. Uh, if you if you cross if you pass by somebody on the street, give them a ball and say, "Well, put the ball in that hoop," they're going to take the ball and put it in the hoop. But if you put them in a field and you say, "Now you have these rules, you have to respect them," uh, uh, it suddenly turns into basketball. And that voluntary participation and that voluntary submission to the rules is a lot of. Uh, is a, a, a huge aspect of making things a game. Uh, and so maybe just embracing the fact that some people won't want to play the game. And uh, it's like a negative uh, uh, feedback on YouTube. You just have to embrace some people won't like your content, uh, but just focus on the ones that are there and uh, that are active because Creating a game around yeah. involuntary participation won't work. Yeah, uh, very good point. Work. Sometimes we needed to do some job afterwards, so I still wanted to people to connect. So um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult balance sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And then when you say it's a difficult balance, I say, ah, spot on. That's play about. It's you are searching for a specific balance, and if you get that, you can feel that it's not to be easily translated in words it's a feeling that the play is going on i am there i'm there with manuel he's talking to me and i'm there you know yeah it's a feeling thing Alan, i'd like to offer a quick perspective um you know these things you talk about play and gamification collaboration and, and actually these things are performed because we're using our physicality and so i'm interested in uh, you know how can we how can we use our physicality in a, in a conscious, intentional way to and, and combine this with gamification in this online format? Because now we're confined to these screens, but normally we'd be interacting and standing around and moving our bodies and taking for granted that we're actually performing our interactions. And so, I guess it could be quite interesting to play with this idea of how can we bring physicality into our interactions as much yeah. as possible again, to find that balance and to, to yeah. physicalize and, and experience gamification, yeah. not just through, yeah. through a limited uh, range of our, yeah. our what I hear you world. What I hear you saying, Colin, is actually you are describing a challenge for one of the, the teams. And I hope you are working with uh, your team members on, on this specific uh, description. Uh, there, is, there is no answer. I don't have answers either at this very moment. But when you are working on it, I, I expect, you know, you will see how things can work. And I have seen you and dancing and, and doing stuff with us in another workshop. So I expect there will be answers that you will find. Dominique, I think you were... Yeah, I, I had two things coming back to that um, physicality. I see a big difference with, look at the camera where UN is on, 
she so shows already more of her body. So you can see what happens with her hands. I think that's one tip. What I've been trying out is putting the camera further away that you can see the whole body, especially when you play. People need to see physically how you play. Yes. And the second thing we I've been testing out is asking people to have a wide background. That's it. That we are not disturbed with all the different backgrounds. I get too many uh, things coming into my brain to look that I don't look at the people. But I'm distracted now. I see nine pictures with nine different backgrounds. That's too much stimuli at the same time, and I do lose the connection with the people. So we try to do with a wide background knowing that it is then difficult, you know, when you put a, a fake background in, in, um, in this type of um, webinars, it's difficult, you see different uh, strange things happening. So we ask people to put a white big paper, you know, on the wall behind them. And that gave us much more mm. possibility to concentrate on the content. Nice, thank you. It shouldn't, uh, that I sorry. might add uh, something we explored last weekend on the Weltübergang Hackathon. And there was a group forming just a bar. It wasn't about workshops, but it was about uh, how do we feel in the same room? And we experimented with a background too. Everyone had the same uh, background, but from other perspective, from a bar. And the most important thing we experienced was um, when they had a very low sound in the background of the blah, 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 uh, bar noises. And it was really great. When we had this noise, we, we really felt in another way than without this. It was such a uh, funny experience as That's well. That's a great idea. So did you have like clinking glasses and a little espresso machine noise and everything? Uh, it was much more than a music bar, not, not a coffee bar. <laughs> okay, music is awesome too. Like, but yeah. Like a lounge music, something like this. Right, right. But I like the idea of the coffee machine that gives us an idea. You can, you can, with the mind, I love coffee. I smell the coffee if I hear the sound. Right. I've got a closing uh, uh, sort of cool down goodbye thing if we want to do it. We don't have to do it now. We can spend more time, but I want to do it before we leave. Everybody's up to it. Yeah. Yes, please. Go ahead. Yeah. We, should we do it now? Yeah, yeah. go for it. Yeah, I think Giovanni was uh, raising his hand. Ah, Giovanni? Yeah. Oh, um, I think it's uh, just um, having a kind of uh, trade-off between what is the environmental setup of the thing, of the whole, and then what is the behavioral setup of the thing. So I think it's very important when you say, yes, that we have similar screens, similar or similar backgrounds. Uh, probably what, what we need is a sort of an etiquette for approaching those meetings because there is no standard. Um, it's a different environment for many of us. So what, what does it mean? I, 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 do, I behave in the situation. I, even, and it, I find it interesting also looking at your mirror image because most of the time, even if you are an expert facilitator, you always feel, you need to feel the your presence in the room before you can even start approaching the participants over there. And the other one is, of course, the, the, the activities you're going to perform for having those people leaving a bit of their comfort zone and welcoming them to play to you. So um, what I mentioned, uh, Adam Lawrence, before in the chat, so uh, what is the safe space, the safe remote space in which the participants can get together and at the end, if you give them a ball while they're walking in the street, they, they, they can accept to throw them this ball in a hoop. Mm. But I was not able to, to try these things out yet. It has a lot to do with uh, uh, establishing a new social contract because, uh, and that's uh, in line with what Mark was saying, the, the following sessions uh, uh, would be easier. And uh, I've been experiencing that uh, in a different context with uh, my, my Boy Scouts. And the first session was chaotic. You can imagine 50 kids using a Zoom to do some crazy stuff like we do in Scouts. But the second session was already completely different. And because they, they got used to the dynamics, they knew that if they were too, too rowdy, we would just mute everybody. 
So those that it's a new social contract that we're all still discovering, mm. uh, and that maybe when we define a, a, a good generic social contract, that could be the just the first step, mm. and even have a game to yes. start up the session yes. to yes. clarify mm -hmm. that social contract. Yeah. And can I add to you, Manuel, that when you said uh, in two sessions, kids already have learned how to how to deal with it. That's the mastery growing. They know uh, their skills are, are getting larger and larger. So if you put autonomy and also the purpose next to it, uh, you have uh, you are touching their intrinsic motivation. And yes, it is possible to design a whole game around just getting into on the screen. So we, we are close. I think we are close to designing uh, and, and using game mechanics to learn how to use the technical tools online. But that's only the part of using the technical tools. It's yeah. not yet how to make impact because you want to continue your work. Ooh, I wonder if that? it makes sense to just to, to waste a bullet, so to say, and organize some sort of a a meeting just to have to break the ice so having a crappy meeting a first crappy meeting so that the second one can really be yes work yes yes i would agree okay everybody stand up please if you can if you can't stand up that's also cool um just because we did this at the beginning i like the i like the moving around thing that zumena brought to us um, thank you, everybody, for being uh, being with us. But let's give each other a hug, and this is what we're going to do. Just you know how you do this, right? You give yourself a hug, and and just give it a good give it a good squeeze, right? This is like a big group hug, right? So I love you guys. Thank you for coming, Arna. You want to say any last words and lull us off to sleep, or are you going to go? Over? Okay, we're all good. Pedro, I muted myself. Sorry. So. <laughs> thank you very much thank you so much see you next week or any other time hope, hope to have you back hope we didn't scare thank you, you. Off. Bye, everybody. thank you so much bye, bye. bye. <laughs> and off they go everybody off brr, brr. <laughs> cool all right, we'll see you guys later, crew. Debrief? We'll see. Backstage stage. Back I'm stage. off. I'm off. Bye bye. Bye, Peter. Back to the debrief. Back in the backstage debrief. We'll do another Zoom. Yep. Nice.